I'm a big fan of knives, utility knives, hunting knives, fixed blade knives, automatic knives. But this is the most unusual knife I've ever seen. And this is the Paragon Warlock, made by Asheville Steel, which is made in Asheville, North Carolina, about an hour away from us. But when I first saw this, I was like, I've got to have one. And one thing that's kind of cool is you look and there's no place for the knife to come out. And it's not an automatic. But what it does do, it comes out like an automatic. Just like that. Man, this thing is slick. Okay, it comes in this box, uh, just a cardboard box, and the knife comes sealed in this plastic bag. Not really a lot of fanfare, but uh, definitely a very cool knife. And again, that's the Paragon Knives. Excellent by design, made in the USA, Paragon Asheville Steel. Definitely a unique design. I mean, something you don't see. And this is the Paragon Warlock. Paragon right here, Asheville Steel, USA. This is made in the USA. Uh, there's definitely something magical about this knife, and one is just that enclosed case. It's just very different. A lot of people can't figure it out. It's funny, my daughter figured it out immediately. <laughs> but here you can see where the blade comes. It's just that back end of the blade. And so the blade actually comes out. Now this one has a Cerakote finish to it. There's a number of different colors, a number of different blade materials, and of course the price reflects it. We're going to see if we can do this in front of the camera, but as you press it, you just see it opens up the scales. And so once you get a good press on it, you don't want to put too much pressure on the body uh, because you don't want to hinder that from opening. But as you bring it out, and then it just comes out and it locks up as soon as you release. Um, when you're closing it, it just closes back. You just need to make sure you keep those scales open until you get it into the body of the handle. So it's a very smooth operating knife. Uh, the blade itself is made from CPM S30V stainless steel. So it's a good high quality steel material. Um, it's a flat ground and it is dagger. Both edges are sharpened and they are extremely sharp. Uh, in fact, right here on my finger, when I was practicing with it at first, got myself a couple of times so you want to be careful with this knife it's one of those that you don't want to just play around with or really hand to anybody and it is a flat ground uh, and being reversible of course you can switch this out um, and you know kind of carry it either way the, the handles are aluminum uh, again this one is a Cerakote finish and it's just the one that I chose the overall length is 9.375 inches uh, the blade is 3.875 inches but the cutting edge is three and three quarters of an inch. The width of the blade is 1.13 inches and the thickness is 0.13. And it's definitely a tip up carry. Uh, so as you have this in your pocket, the blade is gonna be in the up position. Uh, one thing about this knife that makes it also very unique is that you don't have any folders that are dagger style. Uh, with the blades on either side. And part of that has to do with just being able to take this and open it and to close it. And so that is one of the things, and you don't want to put your hand on here while you're closing it. So we're going to bring it down. I'm going to kind of let it just fall down. Uh, you know, if you're not careful with it kind of out like this, you're almost tempted to just push down. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Just let it go ahead and feed into that just like it naturally would. Behind the camera, it's a little more difficult. I'm having to extend my arm out a little bit unnaturally. But uh, if you bring it out in the right way, I mean, it comes right out. But it's a really unusual design, very smooth. As far as the blade lockup, there is a little bit of play right here. Just a touch. Uh, you have jimping or some kind of ridge, ridge lines right here. 
and on the other side and it comes up into somewhat of a guard so it gives you a really good grip this way or even this way uh, and then of course with reverse grip you've got a nice grip as well also there are some jimping lines on either side as far as pocket carry clip fits nice it's got a lot of tension to it it's not a deep pocket carry it does come up just a little bit comes out again making sure that you open it up and then it just comes right out it's really fast to deploy uh, but again guys you just need to make sure that you find that sweet spot and you get that practice in if you do that this thing is really super sweet kind of reminds me a little bit of a butterfly knife um, and probably just as dangerous as things like magic the weight on the Paragon Warlock 6.2 ounces now the Paragon Warlock is not inexpensive I got this on Blade HQ it was two hundred and fifty dollars I think it's a little more on the Asheville Steel website uh, but there are a lot of different models and the prices are different for each one uh, I think there's even some different blade lengths and so you can go to Blade HQ or you can go to the Asheville Steel website and check that out. But it was just something that I, I really like this. I, I love the design. I love innovation. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things. The, the more companies that are out there producing different things, you know, trying to do something different or just really striving for excellence. It's nice to have really unique designs that you've never seen. And that just gives us more, you know, in the long run. I'll tell you, when it's on, it's on. And it's smooth like butter. So these aren't cheap, but they're really cool. And I don't know that I would carry this every day because it's just so unique. And honestly, it's more of a self-defense type blade with the double edge. It's not something that I would use necessarily for utility, but it's something that's really super awesome. And man, is it fast. And I'll tell you, that takes some practice. <laughs> Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. You see it at the front. This isn't an automatic. These two dots. These two dots. These are not dots. <laughs> They're cool. When you hit it, it doesn't come out. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. <laughs> uh, a lot of bloopers, folks. Love knives. I love them for utility. Love them for self-defense. Having something in your pocket, uh, you know, just... But what it does do is, is come out when you hold it right. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Yep. Yeah.